Good evening. Welcome to WJZ.com. Well, temperatures have been bouncing around. We're 39 last hour, up to 40 now. 43 over in Annapolis, 39 Frederick, 38 Westminster, 28 the coal spot in Oakland, and Eastern Shore, everybody in the low 40s, as you can see. We've had a little bit of light precip move through there about 3 or 4 o'clock this afternoon, even a little sleet and wet snowflakes reported, despite the fact that temperatures were well above freezing. We're in a break right now, a little snow across Pennsylvania, you see. South of us, a whole batch of rain moving in. Most of this rain passing southeast of us, but later tonight we'll start seeing a rain-snow mixture. Temperatures will be dropping somewhat into the 30s right now, with temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s. Any precipitation we get in the form of snow is going to melt primarily, maybe little on the grass just surfaces if it comes down hard enough. But tomorrow, this will evolve into a low pressure off the east coast. That will become the main low pressure of the nor'easter we've been telling you about. Rain primarily southeast of us. Trace to an inch from the city on down to D.C. Some areas just on the grass a little bit. A little more to the north, inch or two. Then north of that, two to four, four to six. Across portion of eastern PA, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Some of the hills up there in the Poconos, 10, 11, 12 inches of wet snow. Northern New Jersey, some wet snow, maybe eight, 10, 12 inches. New York City, probably about six to eight inches, believe it or not. Out toward the east of that region, probably a lot less as them get it'll get some of that warmer of the ocean. So we do expect to see a wet snow event. A lot of this happening between 5, 5 a.m. and about noon or 1 o'clock. Most of it will be over, we think, by the afternoon. So this afternoon, you see that precip moving across the region, the bulk of it now south of us, but low pressure developing. Southwest Virginia is going to jump to the coast and re-energize out over the ocean into an area of low pressure. So we've got some precip moving in. By midnight, a little rain-snow mixture across the region, most of the snow north of us. And during the afternoon tomorrow, as we get up in the morning hours, a little rain-snow, snow to the north, generally rain of the south, right across the city, as you can see. One o'clock, a little batch of rain and snow, mostly snow north of us with nothing happening south of us. And by 1 or 2 o'clock, most of it's gone by late afternoon. We actually might even see some clearing by evening. Do expect to see some clearing, but any slush lap will be freezing up as we go below freezing once again. Thursday, partly cloudy skies, kind of breezy as that storm pulls away rather quickly. It will not have the same dynamics of this past storm this past weekend. So will not be nearly as windy, although we could see wind gusts Wednesday night into Thursday, maybe up to 30 miles an hour, perhaps 35 in some locations, but nothing like we saw this past weekend. And it'll clear up somewhat by Friday with temperatures again, slightly below normal. So tonight, rain and snow at times, 33 by morning, maybe some solid snow north of the city and some rain. And it'll be colder tomorrow's high, only 37, much marginal for snow, of course. On Thursday, warming up to 42, with maybe a brief snow shower in the evening. 45 on Friday, 47 Saturday, 46 Sunday. Now, Sunday night, another system probably passing south of us. If it doesn't, we could see some more precipitation Sunday night. We'll talk about that a little later in the week as we get more data. Long way off. We'll have an updated forecast for you later tonight.